guys, it's me. How are you today? I thought I would come back today and show you how to make a Tudor's Peppy Biscuit. For those of you that don't live in the West Virginia and surrounding areas, what's a Tudor's Biscuit? Well, according to President Obama, Tudor's is pronounced two doors. Who remembers that when he was here visiting? <laughs> it was really funny to us because it's actually Tudor's Biscuits. I personally am not a fan of Tudor's Biscuits because, uh-oh, hold on a minute. Turn that scanner down. <clears throat> I personally am not a fan of Tudor's Biscuits because they're really thick and they're gummy in the middle. It's like they're almost, it's like they don't bake them enough and they're kind of raw in the middle. But, I mean, they've got a great big following. But I have to say, I do like pepperoni on my biscuits. So what I'm going to do is show you how to make Biscuits with Hudson Cream Self-Rising Flour. Hudson Cream is the best flour ever to make biscuits with. I love it. There's also another one out there. Um, I can't think of the name of right now, but um, it's really hard to find. So we're going to go with um, Hudson Cream Flour today. So what you do is you get two cups of Hudson Cream Flour. You get... Um, a third of a cup of shortening. Now it doesn't specify on there solid or liquid shortening. So you really want to use a solid shortening such as Crisco or whatever solid shortening you may have in your country or your area depending on where you're watching from. Now I personally like the Crisco butter flavored sticks. They're like this. You get a three pack. This used to be found in a can. It's really hard to find in a can now, but these look like sticks of butter. So I've already put my flour in my bowl with the shortening. So what you need to do, you really need a pastry cutter, but I don't have a pastry cutter. <laughs> Once again, I'm gonna gripe. All my kitchen things were stolen out of my storage unit when we were moving. So anyway, I'm going to use a fork instead of a pastry cutter, and I'm going to cut, when you say cut something into the flour, that means you're mixing it into the flour. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to cut this shortening into the flour like that, and you also need three-fourths of a cup of buttermilk. Now, I went ahead and put this flour in here, and I really need to pour that back because I got ahead of myself. You need three-fourths of a cup of buttermilk. Now, I poured in kind of slow because sometimes you need that amount. Sometimes you need a little less. Sometimes you need a little more. It just depends. It's really crazy. So, I'm going to pour. No, I'll just pour it all in. More than likely, I'll need to add a little bit more. So I'm going to stir this up and get all that incorporated in here. We'll see what the consistency is. Okay, now that is a little too thick. See what I mean? It's a little too thick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a pinch, just a little pinch. That's probably about a teaspoon of uh, buttermilk and I still need a little bit more I'm going to mix that up some more so I get it to where I actually want it you're probably going to end up actually adding about a cup of buttermilk so I would probably go ahead and put a cup of buttermilk in my my measuring cup and um, instead of going like me where I've made them so many times I, I really just eyeball it but for the sake of video I was measuring so we'll see how this goes uh, let's see that's still not quite the way I want it so I'm going to add a little bit more then I'll show you how the consistency okay I think we got it let me put my lid back on my buttermilk so I don't spill that. And this is Kroger brand buttermilk. You can use any kind of buttermilk you want. Whatever brand or, you know, 
whatever you like. I just go with Kroger brand. I like it. Okay, now this is the consistency you want your biscuits. Now, if you just want to make regular biscuits, this is the recipe to go with right here. So, now, here's my twist on the peppy. At Tudor's, they make biscuits like this, and then they cut them open or pull them open, however they do them, and they put pepperoni in the middle of them, and they heat them up. Well, not me. I use this type of pepperoni. It's armor. You can use any brand you want. Turkey pepperoni, whatever you want. This is a five ounce package of pepperoni. So what I'm going to do is open this. Hmm. I always have some technical difficulties on live TV here. All right. I'm going to put about half in here pepperoni. Make sure some of these pepperonis have little foil packets in it called desiccants. And what that is, it absorbs um, moisture and everything. So make sure when you're um, putting your pepperoni into anything, you look for that little foil packet. I don't see one in this one, but some brands have them. Anyway, there's my pepperoni. I'm going to stir it up. Get it mixed up into the biscuit mix. See? I'm going to put, put some more in there because I like a lot of pepperoni in my biscuits. Just so much, so much better than Tudor's. So much. Okay. I used a half a pack of that. So let's get this mixed up. Just like that. And you also need your favorite baking dish. Now, your, your favorite baking pan, whatever you want to use to make your biscuits in. I like this one. This is an old pan. I don't know what kind of a pan it is. Belonged to my mom. It's older than me. It's older than 56 years old. Um, I, I kept it because it was my mom's and... You know, you know how that goes. What I like to do is I like to put a tablespoon of real butter in here and melt it in the oven. So I'm going to set this back over here. Now what I'm going to do is pour some flour onto my, my surface here, right onto my counter. I better get my pan back because so I'm going to need that. And just spread out your flour here. Now, it, some recipes will say turn out something onto the surface. That simply means to pour it out. Okay, that's what it means. Pour it out onto the surface. I'm probably going to have to adjust this camera a little bit. So, hold on a minute. Okay, I think I did that pretty good. All right, now, <clears throat> what I'm going to do, sprinkle a little bit of this flour on top of this so I can work it down. So I'll work it down to about, about an inch. And an inch <clears throat> actually is, on your finger, it's easy to measure, up to the, from the tip of your finger to the first little line. That's about an inch. And if you get a, a ruler or whatever and measure, you're going to see you're going to be really close. So I'll just put my finger there and however close it is, it's a little under that. So what I'm going to do now is I have a, a McDonald's Shrek glass. I grease the outer surface of it with, um, with my Crisco shortening. What I'm going to do is use this to cut out my biscuits. And this is a, a very small batch. If you use a smaller cutter, then you're going to get more out of it. I just I flip it around like that to get the flour off of it. So I'm going to put it in my pan. As you can see, I'm going to cut the rest out. Out of this little batch, if you use a big pan like me, get that flour off of it. We all have our own ways of doing things. <laughs> and I like to... 
get as close to the edge of the dough as possible. Get that out of there. See, it doesn't stick if you grease the sides of your your cutter. If you have a biscuit cutter, that's great. I don't I don't have one. I do have a heart shaped one, but it doesn't really work all that great. I think I'm going to get four good sized biscuits out of this. Once you have leftover dough, <clears throat> like this here, this is probably enough for another biscuit. I'm going to put it back in the bowl to mix it up some more because if you mix it into that flour, then it's going to mess your dough up. So, I uh, mixed it all back up in there. Put a little bit more flour on top. I'm going to pat it down like I did the other. And I'm going to get one good biscuit out of that. So, I guess I'm going to get about five biscuits out of this. So, there we have it. We have five biscuits in the pan. Make sure they're touching like that. Make sure your oven <clears throat> is preheated to 450 degrees. What I'm going to do is throw these in the oven and bake them for about, uh, let's see, how long does it tell me to bake them for? Now bake at 425 for about 15 minutes. So I'm going to throw these into the oven right here. I'm going to clean up my mess. I'll be back in 15 minutes. Here, set my timer. What do you think? Timer. If I count to 15. All right, timer is set. I'll be back in 15 minutes. I'll have my mess cleaned up. We'll have a nice batch of biscuits coming out of the oven. And we're going to taste them and see how they taste. So, I'll be back. Okay, we're back. The biscuits are done. And they smell amazing. Very, very amazing. Their pan is still hot, so I have to pick it up with this. But here we go. That's our biscuits right there. They've got the pepperoni bake in them. But now, like I said, tutors, they bake the biscuit, slice it open or pull it open, whatever they do with their biscuits, and they put warm pepperoni in the middle of it. But I like this so much better. Um... They're very hot. I'm going to get one out of here. Mm, look at that. Smoking hot. Look at the bottom. Put it in my pretty plate that I got from Hope. Hi, Hope. Hope Lockard. Now, what I'm going to do is tear that in half. I'm going to tell you now, these are going to fall apart because the pepperoni's in them, but really good. Melt you some cheese. I had some solid um, sharp cheddar cheese. I put a little bit of Kroger brand heavy whipping cream in my little saucepan. Put it over low heat until my block of cheese melted. So I'm going to put some of this cheese on my biscuit. Tudor's also put... Um, cheese on their peppy. Mine's a little bit thicker. I don't like it real runny. Anyway, I'm going to put the top back on here. The biscuit's still kind of hot, but here it is, people. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? It's burning me, but I'm going to take a bite and see how it tastes. Mmm. Mmm. So, so good. Mmm. Really good. I've got four left. Who lives local and wants one? You better come get it. So, now I've got to wash that down with something. Today, my drink of choice is a caffeine-free Pepsi. I can't have any caffeine because it makes me have palpitations. I can't use artificial sweeteners that are in the soft drinks because that gives me palpitations. So, I'm kind of screwed there. I have to drink regular soda. So, 
Caffeine-free Pepsi is my drink of choice, <clears throat> usually always, or the lemonade. I like that too. It's caffeine-free. But anyway, the biscuits are delicious. They're really easy to make. You really should, should try them at home. They're really good. Um, one more thing too. Once your biscuits are done, see how these are brown on top. What I do is I'll pull them out of the oven and I'll put a little, melt a little bit of butter on top of them. Then I'll throw them back in the oven under the broiler this time and watch them until they get, you know, to the brownness that I want. And then you've got these amazing, amazing biscuits. If you want to make more, you can double your recipe. But like I said, this here makes, <clears throat> it might make more. It just depends on how small you make them. But I use a wide you know, that large glass is my biscuit cutter. So, thank you for watching my video. I'm Chef Susan, by choice. <laughs> um, I'll be back with more videos. And today's video was brought to you by Hudson Cream Flour and Kroger's. So, thank you for watching me, and I'll be back. Bon appetit. Mmm. So good. Don't be hating on me. You know you're going to love it. Until next time, I'm out. See ya.